And good morning po, mga umaga. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, PSEI, medyo pulahan si PSEI, but we are reaching support levels. Let's check out the chart. So yesterday, uh, PSEI closed at 7653, right? Um, net foreign selling pa rin tayo. So foreigns are selling. So wala pa rin ganong volume to invest in PSEI still. But anyways, um, look at that. PSEI is down at supports. And I have a few uh, positions that are good na kung nasa PSEI talaga kayo are good to start accumulating now right in your strategy kasi dapat for PSEI in this kind of volume in this kind of movement uh, in this kind of market for PSEI the best strategy is to accumulate look for stocks na good companies that are good that are um, showing signs of bottoming right hindi natin alam kung bottom na ba yan or hindi but we can what we can do is most probably these are already <coughs> sorry about that most probably these stocks are already starting to bottom out so we'll start to accumulate them if ever hindi pa bottom land then it's the time to buy more so pwede na tayo mag test buy already right so i have a few uh for uh for psei right now i have three actually na pwede ko po may recommend sa inyo in the next coming days Hinihintay ko lang na mag, uh, magbigay ng mga signals yung ibang mga stocks na paborito sa PSCI na possible na siya nag-bottom out. And that's that we're start, gonna be starting to buy. Remember, nangyari ito kay um, BPI, uh, kay BDO, SMBH. Sabi ko sa inyo, possible bottom na ito. And then we start accumulating already. And even if the market is not that, uh, that, that, not that strong, we were still able to we were able to win from these stocks and now we have a few that are starting to give signs na pwede na naman siyang umpisahan and that's what i'm gonna be sharing to you today this is for position trading hindi po ito yung isang araw magiging kaagad no i can't say that this is for patience yung mga ilang weeks or even months pa ito before tayo makakapag take profit so i have a th i have three right now that i can share to you but before we go to that let me uh show uh, let me check out the comments of everyone monet lagman good morning good to be back here good morning monet marmish good morning po sir lloyd joseph tanel morning all right so ben brian banao so today is just gonna be a short episode um walang ganong action sa psei eh. um action lang kahapon talaga si tech um si ganda ng galaw ni tech kahapon so ang dami nakaswerte kay tech but yeah, look at that right there. So we said tech was gonna do a pullback, and there's the pullback of tech, and then there it is. Na continue na siya sa uptrend niya. Sobrang lakas ng volume na yan. So it's very volatile right now. It's not good to get in anymore. There is um, opportunity in this for day trading. If you're a day trader, pwede ka yung sumabay tulad ng bounce ng last. So napati na abangan na natin yung bounce non. Um, medyo lak taas lang kasi. So there was it the bounce, and then nagtuli tuli na ang mga tao. So this is on a strong rally, it's on a strong trend, so let's just wait for it to do another pullback and then uh, the next bounce will be our best entry. Remember, tech is already on oversold levels right now, I mean overbought levels, so it's not healthy to buy, especially for position traders. Uh, mga day traders, may opportunity pa dyan, baka magtuloy-tuloy yung volume niya, so kung marunong kayo mag day trade, then definitely you can get in. But if hindi naman kayo makapag day trade, then don't bother, okay? Huwag na po. Wag, na, wag po kayo maiinggit. Okay. Um, ayun. Um, again, short episode lang today. If you have any queries about um, stocks, just post it on the comments. Uh, ayun. Kailang ha? Sir RLT po, merong question dito from Hop. Si, si RLT. Let's check out RLT. Let me turn down the volume real quick. Right, so RLT. Kamusta yun natin? RLT. Okay, si RLT. It attempted to uh, to touch the upper Bollinger Bands, but it did not sustain the growth right there. So it's not really that significant of a move. Meron tayong mga buy signals for uh, SAR, tsaka fractals right here. So these are buy signals. Now it's doing a pullback. So anytime soon, pag nag ito, ito, maganda na itong... Uh, position na ito for RLT. Kamusta yun nga natin yung overall move niya? Oh, yun nga pala. Meron na tayong reverse head and shoulder dito eh. Yeah, the next bounce of RLT will be the best entry point. So, good find hops, right? This is starting to look well for RLT. Meron na tayong MACD confirmation. Nag-ano na tayo dyan. And then, RSI starting to give momentum. On the greens, we have good volume spikes. 
So this should be good, right? And daming pa- positive signals for RLT, right? Um, so next bounce nito hops is gonna be a good entry point. Marmish, pa check international market, Jamia and Avid. Um, let's check out Jamia. Jumia. Wow. Jumia Tech. I don't know the. I don't know the. Ano. I don't know the. Um, let's check out JMA. Kung sa natin yung ano. Yung ano sinasabi ng mga experts. Is it a buy or not? If ever maganda to. So ten dollars ang target price analysis. We are still down at seven dollars. So this is good. Very good climb last uh, yesterday. So very high risk as of the moment. So the next pullback and bounce should be very good for this. Low estimates is only three fifty. Uh, average market price twenty two is the high estimate. So mataas taas. Um, initiated coverage sell reiterated reiterated tingnan nga natin karamihan oy karamihan are say, saying it's a buy right this is looking good for ano um overall it's a moderate buy for the analyst consensus so jimia and again follow the volume follow the trend let's wait for the pullback and bounce any any bounce uh, any pullback and bounce should be very healthy for entrance para kay jimia kasi medyo malayo-layo na yan sa resistance you don't have a support right now uh, to base your cut loss so it's really hard for the position to uh it's really hard for you to get in this position right now until na natin ng pullback and bounce this is a good find from uh, sino man nakapahanap nito si Marmish right so Jamie yeah, this is good avid avid tech all right so Malit na yung volume sa green niya, right? It's the volume is decreasing, so this should is this is bound for a pullback, right here, for Avid. Do nag breakout naman siya. Yeah, if you can get energy support, this is a, a much healthier ano. Kasi kasi yung ganito yung nangyayari. Ha? Let me share to you my uh you my my two cents. We have a buy for we have a buy for MACD. Uh RSI natin medyo nasa taas ne, right? Um RSI is still inconclusive. Uh, medyo mataas na siya ngayon. Yun nga lang, breakout siya. It's a breakout, it's a good breakout stat. Uh, this is a good breakout position for Avid. Kaso nga lang yung signals, medyo mahirap ni. Um, our risk right now is medyo mataas. Uh, so as much as possible, if you wanna get into this, hopefully it does go near support and that will be our best entry point. Mukhang okay naman eh, because of the initial volume spike. Yung nga lang, yung support natin, med- medyo mahirap eh. Right? Um, pull back and gap up siya kahapon. So, this is good. Right? Okay naman to. Kay ano eh. Okay naman to kay Avid eh. I'm not sure what caused the breakout. Um, so, please check ano. Um, please check the news. Ano, ano, what caused the breakout. May maganda, bang, maganda ba ang news ni Avid? If Avid is doing well, uy, okay. Puro buy naman yung sa ano. Puro buy naman ang sa uh, sa mga article. So, Avid is ano? Hedge funds, positive sentiments. Okay naman, right? Yeah, use a breakout strategy for Avid. This is a good find. Um, Mahili ka pala sa tech, ano? Marmish. Yeah, Avid is looking good, right? Kaka-breakout niya lang. Use a breakout strategy for this. Uh, just be mindful that your support is kind of um, a dollar away. So, medyo man, uh, malaki-laki yung risk mo. For this position, but overall, if the company is doing well, then yes, definitely, it's a buy. Okay? So, Avid is good. Ben, Brian, Banao, SMPH, Pusser, Bababa, Baba, Puba, ito. SMPH, kasi si SMPH. If napapansin nyo, hindi ko nare-recommend sa SMPH lately because we've already reached the all-time high of SMPH. When was the last time I recommended SMPH? What? It was breakout. And pinaka accumulation ko levels, I've been recommending SMPH at these levels, right? If you noticed, kung ang mga blue chips kailan ko nire recommend, pag nasa baba, on major pullbacks, or if it is poised to look uh, to to do something very good, which is right here. I, I don't think nire recommend. Hindi ko na ngato nire recommend dito, eh, right? Kasi masyad, masyad mataas na. If you see here, the pattern of my recommendation is I always recommend it at bottoms. Because for blue chips, especially companies are doing well, they will bottom out, in, especially in this kind of market. Remember, the market is not bullish. The market is very slow. So there's no need to 
be aggressive in the market and catch uh, and catch trends that are already way up there. May ipit lang kayo niyan. The best strategies for this kind of market is accumulation and and stay long. And once you accumulate, quiet mo. Yung mga aso ko ang iingay. <laughs> right. So, yeah, um if you noticed we bottom pick. And that's one of my recommendations for today. Yung tatlong i-recommend ko sa inyo is because it has possibly bottomed out already. Okay? I'll go through my recommendations in a bit. This is the best strategy for, for this kind of market. No need to be aggressive. No need to catch um, catch the those who are flying high already because malaki ang chances na hindi magtuloy-tuloy ang pag-akyat nila. Especially the index uh, stocks. Okay, so SMBH, mukhang bababa pa ito. It broke MA20 already. So, mukhang magda-downtrend pa ito. Antayin lang natin mag-bottom out ulit in the future before we start buying SMBH again. Um, Emerald D. Uh, Emerald. Uh, hi, sir. Good morning po. Don't you have a position in Itoro? Nag-check kasi ako. Walang lamang port nyo. For now, wala pa po kasi yung watch list ko is... If you want to check my watch list, here is my watch list. The stocks right now in my watch list are way up there. Napakataas na. For example, si Google. Um, chart. Sobrang taas na. <laughs> right? Hindi ko po hahabulin dyan. Yan, for the sake of my position lang. Right? I'm gonna wait for these stocks to go back down eh, or give me a good position. Maybe a pullback at MA20 to start to, to try the positions. But right now, um, wala po siyang positions because the stocks that I I love right now are already way up there. I'm just waiting for them to give me a position. Remember, lesson natin kahapon, no position or not opening a position is still a position. It's still a strategy. I'm just waiting for this to give me a position right now and then saka ako mag, mag open right? Um, though, if ever gusto niyo po ng action talaga, I do not, Yung akin kasi yung trading journey ko dito sa eToro is just for me, I'm not really focusing on copy trading. I strongly recommend you copy people or diversify at least on people na mabilis talaga mag-trade. If you want action, I will recommend Omar at sa. Um, ito yung mga, may video ako dito, ba Top 5 na dapat kinokopya ninyo for ano, for, for, ano, for... Uh, for for 2020, right? Isa si Omar Adsa. Last year, 35% siya. 463 siya for January, but that's okay. right? That's part of his ano, pattern talaga. There are months na pula siya, but nababawi niya naman. Omar Adsa, if you want a more stable guy, um, try Daniel. Uh, Olivier Danville. Olivier Olivier Danville. Right? So, every month, he is green. So, ito mas stable po. Ito na trader compared kay Omar Etza. But, medyo mas mababa yung growth niya. Because, the lower the risk the player has, the lower the, ano, the lower the the results. Right? Low risk, low reward nga. Ika nga. Look at the risk score of this guy. Just one. Right? So, but he has so many copiers. Right? Bakit? Because that's the right way of investing. Slow, uh, if low risk, low return should be a part of your portfolio. So, if ever you're copying, if you plan to copy trade, copy at least three, tat, at least that low. Olivier Danville, uh, who is um, this, uh, the turtle uh, the turtle investor, very low risk but very consistent. You should have that. And then you have a uh, medium, and then yun dalawa, if medium risk yun lang. How to look for good medium risk traders. Um, check nyo po yung, um, yung, uh, yung video ko about the best people to copy trade for 2020. Uh, or you can go to copy people right here. And then, scroll down. Scroll down po kayo. And then, makikita nyo po dito ang mga low risk score na magagaling na traders. The blue stars are just starting. The red stars are good also. Um, nasa level 3 na yung mga yan. Right? So, ayan. Um, or good, go to medium risk score. This, these traders, medium risk score, umaabot ng 6 yung risk nila, pero tignan yung returns for the last 12 months, ang lalaki. So, this guy is gold already. So, let's check out this guy. And so, for stats niya. Right, so, he was 42% last year. He's already up 26% for for this, ano, for, for, for January alone. Right, 26%. That's amazing growth. So, you can consider this guy. Um, 
Yung first year niya, 2018, medyo pulahan, negative 43. But you can see the pattern. He is still starting. Uh, nagsisimula pa niya yung learning the ropes. Most probably, noong 2018, hindi pa ito nagpapakapit trade itong taong na ito. Um, 2019, he is now more conscious in his growth. Most probably, nagpapakapit trade na siya noong, for, uh, noong 2019. And then 2020, he's doing well already. So this guy, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can check out this guy. Um, Right here. So he's trading forex and commodities, but yes, you can look out for these people right here. Um, copy people again. Diversify. My editor's choice dito. Uh, these are already tested by the editors. Eto yung mga consistent talaga. Um, sino ba dito? Eto si Big Profits. Eto isas may pinakamaganda. I recommended this guy. Check out Big Profits. Big sla, uh, dash profits. Um, for how many years already consistently green? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For 5 years, he con uh, he consistently closed the years in green. This guy, you can copy this guy, right? Um, he's already up 0.24. Medyo mabagal talaga for January. Kasi medyo nasa taas na yung mga, ano eh, yung mga positions. 0.24 gains, but nonetheless, it's still positive for January. That's a good start for 2020. You can consider copying this guy. Speaking of eToro, guys, um, if you haven't funded your eToro account yet, if you really want to invest in the, ano, invest in the uh, uh, money markets, which is stock, uh, forex, we call that money markets, um, and you're having a hard time, magkapit trade muna kayo while you're learning the ropes para wag naman po sayang yung opportunities. These people who are popular investors, popular investors po ang tawag sa mga nagpapakapit trade, Know the market already and focus on the market more. So let them do the trade for you. And it's for free, ha? For libre lang mag-copy sa kanila. So kayo na po bahala magkano ilalagay ninyo. And then, at least hindi naman sayang yung, <clears throat> yung portfolio growth even if nag-aaral pa lang kayo. Kasi if you if you study and trade on your by yourself, right, I tell you, you are gonna lose money, sayang yung panahon, and sayang yung development ninyo. Huwag muna malaking pera. Uh, please check the episode yesterday. That's gonna be very helpful for you newbies. Okay, um, so this guy, uh, you can copy this. I strongly recommend this guy. Edward Vince, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to the rest of the investors and traders out there. About ISM, sir, is it healthy pullback and accumulate more shares? Also, insights on Travelers, uh, Slumberger, and PayPal. Thanks, All right? So, yes, ISM is... If, if there's something consistent in the market right now, it's pullbacks because... Yeah, um, market is slow, right? Market is slow. It's still a healthy pullback. We have good volume equalized. So, pag akyat tsaka pag baba. So, these are pullbacks for ISM. Nag, do nag breakout siya from that level. Um, nag, hindi nag sustain. Any breakout soon should be very good. We have a support for ISM right here. That's a possible entry point sa mga gusto pumasok kay ISM. ISM is for long position. Right? Sorry, hindi ko pala na share yung screen ko. Right? Yung into sir, di nyo na-open, tumaas siya kagabi. I, I was checking into it. Hindi siya umabot sa uh, level ng entry ko eh. Right? I went to enter on a clear breakout. Tingnan natin ang chart ni Intuit. Uh, Nag-green siya yesterday, but hindi pa rin siya breakout. So, I'm waiting for it at 278. 278 is a, is a confirmed breakout for me. That's where I'm gonna be entering. So, pag nag-green yan today, most probably mapapasok yung... Um, yung uh, yung uh, yung ano natin yung order natin I am executing it at 278 so 277 siya ngayon so pag nag break out talaga yan today which is gonna be a confirmation that's when we were we will be entering into it right so yan um, hindi ko papasukin yan ng hindi pa confirmed okay um, ISM we look at ISM for long term kasi eh, alright um, basics wise uh Dennis Uy spent money to buy ISM at 3 pesos. And if ever it goes lower than 3 pesos, then basically you were able to buy it cheaper than Dennis Uy. So, merong mga nakabili below 3 pesos. Those were very, napakaswerte na nun. Um, we're looking at it for long term. Right now, it's speculative. Why? Because we don't know how the third telco really is gonna be performing. Right? So, speculation lang natin na mag maganda ang performance nila when they start. Why? Because, number one, they're backed up by the government, they're serious about it, they put money in it, and their partner is Chinatel, which is one of the best telcos in the uh, in the world, right? So, yeah, um, I think they're gonna do well in the Philippines, especially right now na napakapangit ng services ng ibang 
telco and people are really really ano people are really looking for another telco to serve them better remember sun cellular ay ganun na nangyari kay um kay globe tsaka smart tsaka sun cellular noon um kahit na pahirapan kahit na pahirapan ang ang signal kay sun noon right uh, people will still will still went into it because overall price wise napaganda ni sun noon di ba so yeah um ISM if it gives you, give us a big pullback and then goes back to 3 pesos then buy it right o mas maganda pa nga kung mag pullback yan good morning ayan um ISM and accumulate more shares i would strongly recommend accumulate it also pero yung money you can afford to speculate lang wag kayong mag all in kay ISM please right yung buong port ninyo um you accumulate pero yung budget niyo lang let's say for example you plan um 10% of your port put it on a speculative position which is ISM then 10% of your port should be an ISM ganun lang uh, healthy pullback and accumulation yan nabasa na natin yan travelers tingnan na natin travelers Right, travelers. Let's check out the chart of travelers. Shh. Wag dito. Go out. Yung yung bahay namin parang zoo. <laughs> and mainly kasi kami sa animals. Eh. Um, eh, we have four dogs here and one cat. Tapos sa labas meron kaming lima. So that's ten animals in our <laughs> in our ano uh, in our basically our house um let's see as an end pro charts launch pro charts let me just launch pro charts um andres awayan good morning sir lloyd nag message pa ako sa financial freedom 101 messenger mo po gusto ko sana makabil ng intensive recorded webinar niyo yes um hindi ako nakasagot sa ano hindi ako sa nakasagot sa messages yesterday because we were busy um nasa hospital ako kahapon actually so travelers confirm breakout for travelers this is a good buy right a No, this, this is GWPH. Ito yung nasa watchlist ko. Sorry. Uh, travelers. Sorry. Iba pala yung chart na tinitingnan ko. Right, si Travelers just did a breakout. Go. Buy na ito. Use a breakout strategy. Good find. Um, This is from Edward Vince. Yes. This is a good find. Let's just check Travelers yung ano niya. Yung newsfeed niya. For Travelers. Maganda ba yung tingin ng mga uh, analysts? They're on hold right now. Nagda-downgrade ang mga tao. They reduce, they reduce. So mukhang, mukhang challenging ang position ni Traveler sa, sa analyst-wise. But technical analysis-wise. So far, so good. Okay. Okay naman yung ano. Okay yung position ni Traveler. So use a breakout strategy should you really want to get in. But um, experts are kind of shaky. When it comes to travelers, may iba tayo na buy, may konting iba tayo, uh, may konting ano tayo na buy. So just check out the articles bakit nila dina downgrade si travelers. It's at 141, their low estimates is 125. So they're selling it, short selling it. And these are very ano, these are very trusted art uh, ano um what do you call this? Uh analysts. Okay, so tingnan niyo po 'yan. Um bakit up with fundamentals? I haven't checked the fundamentals of this company. Travelers Slumberger. Slumberger. Hirap no na. Slumberger Limited. Right, so it's up yesterday. Uh ano yung code niya SLB. SLB. Again, this is a stock I am not sure about. Um mukhang downtrend pa ito. So what you can do is you can earn from This is a very clear resistance. So that's a resistance na tayo. So we're expecting for this stock to go back down. So what you can do is wait for the next pullback bounce niya and then pag nagpula ulit yan and it's going to be a lower high, that's going to be a short position. This is most probably going to go back down to support. So if it goes back down to support, then 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 Um, you're gonna be earning uh, while shorting it. Nasa resistance na tayo and it's feeling the resistance already. So, very good uh, possible uh, shorting position for this. Um, PayPal, si PayPal naman, this is one of my watch list. I've invested in PayPal before and we earned from it. Mm. PayPal,
Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lumalakas na naman si PayPal. Ah. We are on a clear trend for PayPal. Look at this MA20 line. Ito yung nasa gitna dito. So, MA20 tayo. If ever gusto natin pumasok kay PayPal, antay natin yung pullback niya. Alright? Um, you could play a breakout strategy for this, but that's very aggressive. That's for short, very short-term trade. Um, I would strongly recommend wait for a pullback right here at MA20. And then, bounce. Uh, when it bounces, then that's where we enter for PayPal. Now, this is still a good find. Francis Wayland, good morning. Jolly Gales, good morning, sir. Lloyd and Laika, good morning then, Joel. Um, Joseph Tanel, yung sir, yung into, hindi ko, na, hindi ko pa pinasok. Uh, Joel na Inge, good morning. Robert Neserio, good morning, sir. Lloyd, be awake, good morning. All right. Mama's boy, little Allen Chololoy. Hello, sir. Lloyd, happy Friday. How about PNB po, sir? Parang wala po siyang dividend ever since. TY, right? Um, a dividend, hindi naman kasi ano yan, eh, hindi kasi, uh, hindi kasi mandatory ang dividend. So, there are stocks na wala talaga yung dividend. It's technical analysis wise, it is collapsing the support right now and there's mas, medyo malaki yung sell-off, maybe yung earnings lang. Okay naman yung earnings nila, not that great. But earnings is why, good. But this is possibly bottoming out, right? We have a possible divergence right here. Eh. Anytime magsusupport ito, it's gonna be very cheap for PNB already, right? Sobrang mura na yan for PNB. Um, but overall, downtrend pa si PNB. Eh. So, we don't have any buy signals right now. So, huwag muna natin pilitin si PNB. Andres Awayan, Sir Lloyd, ano ang um, pagkakaiba ng position trading at swing trading? Swing trading kasi, you can be more aggressive. For example, eto si PNB. Tingnan natin ang stocks ni PNB. Okay. So, swing trading... Ito, nag-uptrend si, uh, si, ano, si PNB. That's a swing up, right? You could have caught it here for position trading. Dito kasi position trading. Swing trading is magsisimula ng trend niya. We already have a higher high. We wait for it to accumulate or do a pullback. And then there it is, MA20. Ito yung uh, gusto kong pang swing trading position, di ba? So, Swing trading is you're, you're, you're taking advantage of a swing of an uptrend, right? So, here's an uptrend right here. Meron na tayong ME20 bounce. So, if you're a swing trader, you can get in here and then you can take advantage of the swing again and then sell it here. And then on the next swing, buy ulit, sell ulit dito. You can do that. Position traders naman is somehow mix naman sila sa position trading because um, position trades, I position my trades initially here and then st slowly start accumulating up, buy more if it's a confirmed uptrend so that overall my position is in this bottom and then if it grows kasi mag uptrend na and I slowly start um, um, putting in my position and then once na may sell levels, I sell everything here. Right, so that's a position trade. Ang swing trader mas sh short term siya, and it, they take advantage of the swing, sell here, another swing, MA20 bounce, and then hanggang sa open pa yung swing niya, then they sell here. So mas short term naman yung swing traders, right? You can do mix of both, na you can position here and then sell some here, and then on the next position, uh, a next buy position, you buy some on the on the on the good position swing. So it can be a bit of both. Pero ang mainly ang position trader talaga is we wait for a very good position before we wanna get in. Okay? So, yan. If ever wala naman position, you can opt to become a swing trader kasi if if ever your 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 time, uh, your time, um, your availability for trading is there naman, then you can switch to sw swing trading then. Okay? So it's a mix of both. Pero pinakamaganda sa position trading is yung bottom picking eh. Nag-aantay na, nag, nag ng magbo-bottom, right? You slowly accumulate. Uy, for example, uh, during this level right here, mukhang magbo-bottom na si PNB. So, we start looking for bottom signals and then we have a bottom signal right here which is RSI divergence. So, we start, accum so we start our position here already, right? We open a position right there because of these buy signals right here. And then... Uh, there it is. That's the f initial position. If it confirms our uh, our strength, then then on the next pullback and bounce, then we can buy more. That's position trading. Ang gulo na ng chart. Pasensya na. I hope you, that's clear for you guys. Lori Soxon, good morning. Layton TV, good morning, sir. Good morning, then. Right. So position trading. I love position trading because it's not really time consuming. Mas maganda siya para sa akin, especially now that nagtuturo ako. 
uh, I cannot focus on the market that much. I am always out um, um, meeting people. And at the same time, I'm an entrepreneur, so position trading is best for me. So, binibisita ko lang ang market, kaya I am able to do the daily grinds kasi binibisita ko ang market. And then, where's, there's, when, there, when I see a good position, and then I buy some. Kung wala, then wala akong gagawin. That's why nakikita nyo sa international market, walang laman yung port ko because I have no position. There's no position I can find right now. Kung walang position, then hindi ko pipilitin ang trades ko kasi it's against my trading system. Okay. Uh, it happened to me in the international market na pinilit ko ang mga ano, positions ko. Right? If nakita nyo po yung, ano, yung statistics ko, yung stats ko. Um, stats, 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 stats. Alright. So, last, ano, last uh, year, meron ako negative 6.51 and negative 5.11. This was when I tried to trade. And then my, <laughs> my, my, my trading system should have been position trading. Uh, I tried to really, um, uh, medyo na pressure ako sa trading nito eh. Bakit? Because I was on, uh, tawag nito, I was on a, um, tawag nito, um, I was on a champion level, right? Champion level kasi mas marami na ang magkakopya sa inyo and you are earning $1,000 a month. I was a champ at champion level during that time. So, when I saw the funds under me, the AUM, ang laki nito, umabot to ng $300,000. $300,000 is how much? How many millions, di ba? So, medyo na-pressure ako noon. So, I went out of my trading system and yun, nagka-negative-negative. So, if you go out of your trading system, mas malaking chances na matatalo kayo. So I went back, I reverted back to my position trading and I was able to uh, I was able to recover um, on the last months of ano, of of 2019. So we were able to recover there. So yan. Noon nagpo-position trading ako, ang ganda ng earnings ko, pero nung pinilit ko talaga mag mag-trade uh, which is away from my sis trading system, medyo nasira. So just that's a lesson for you guys also. So Huwag niyong pipilitin. Just follow your trading system and you should be okay. Um, ayun, uh, let's, speaking of position trading, I'm gonna go to my recommendations for today. My recommendations today are very good for position traders. These are possibly bo bottoming out already. Okay? So, unang-una sa recommendations ko, I'm recommending MAC for today. Right? So, si MAC, MAC, Macroasia. Tingnan niyo po, ang laki ng Pullback ni Macro Asia. Macro Asia is starting to reach its support levels. Major support level is right here. Okay? And yeah, for a good company, look at that. Macro Asia, third quarter earnings is 21. Okay naman ang, um, okay naman takbo ni Macro Asia ngayon. Uh, we have a good bounce right here. Ito na yung mga sumasalo, nag-accumulate. And then you see the volume spike on the green so that should tell you something. We have already reached very low RSI for MAC. Those are buy levels already. So it's time to test buy MAC. I strongly recommend you test buy MAC already. And then if it confirms the bottom, if it confirms the MACD, um, if it confirms your support, then you, this is another chance to start accumulating macro Asia. And then once pa, tama tayo, and then really starts the trend, and then you can buy more and be more aggressive at these levels. But macro Asia, malapit na po itong mahinog. So, simulan na po natin magtanim dito. Right? So, this is position trading for you. Um, we have a very major support um, that is gonna be supporting us right here. So, if ever I buy some here, and then buy some here, and then it really, if it really fails, and then hindi talaga mag-sustain yung support, and then I'm gonna be cutting my losses. Okay? So, no point on holding a stock that is losing. But it's time to accumulate for, for, ano, for, for macro Asia. Next is ATN. Right? Um, this stock is for long term. Ang, ang ginagawa ko lang accumulation are mga stocks na pang long term. Right? ATN is for long term. Very good business model right now for ATN. Sobrang laki ng pera ng mga taong ito, ng kompanyang ito. ATN and ATNB basically. So, ATN did a breakout yesterday and look at the volume spike. So, yes, most probably this is a bottom already for ATN. We have volume spikes on these levels and it's starting to break out. So, hopefully, nakapag-accumulate kayo sa support kay ATN. Um... Because that's a good position trade right there. That support right there. And kaka-breakout niya lang. So that should be 
a good confirmation for you to start buying. And then pag nag pull back and bounce and gives us a higher low, then that's a, the time to be aggressive and buy more. So ATN and ATNB uh, is already there. Malapit ng mahinog si ATN ATNB. Ma mahinog yan pag uptrend na. And then lastly, sa mga recommendations ko si BPI, we have a reverse head and shoulder for pattern for BPI already. BPI strongly recommended it on this support. So these are very good levels for BPI. But I don't think we're gonna go to that levels anymore because we already have a possible reversal pattern here. So we have, look at this right here. Pababa ang presyo but RSI is already going up. So that's already a buy signal even right here. And further confirmation is we have already a higher low. So that's a head and shoulder pattern for you guys. Um, that's a buy for me, right? Nonetheless, pwede pang bumaba yan, But the major support is here. Start to accumulate BPI already. Kasi baka hindi na bumaba yan. So mag-test buy na kayo ngayon. Pag bumaba pa yan, this support, that's another position right here. That's what That will be where our major basis is. If it collapses, then cut your losses, right? Or pwede nyo long term sa BPI. Very good company naman yan. Um, but then again, yes, BPI is already starting to show us good levels. Hindi natin alam kung bottom ito. Be humble in your trading. You will never know if it's a bottom already. Okay? What you can do is just do test buys. Because you'll never know if it's the bottom. <clears throat> test buy some, and then if kung bottom talaga yun, very good. And then if it is the reversal already, time to buy more. At least hindi sayang yung bottom na nahuli natin. If it goes further down, we have the a further more co uh, confirmation of this bottom right here. That's where we really uh, go full blast on our test buy. Okay? So these are the three stocks I can recommend right now for PSEI international market. I'm still waiting for my positions in Lapa ko ma recommend. Pero you guys are finding some in the international market already. That's very good. Reminders of uh, eToro. Guys, I strongly recommend if you really want to trade and really want to earn faster in trading, please play in a better playing field. Right, better playing field meaning mas magandang market and the market internationally is a very good market to play around with right compared to PSE doon na kayo maglaro sa magandang korte ba kung nagba basketball kayo bakit kayo mag maglalaro sa lubak-lubak na korte doon kayo maglaro sa um, ano sa mas magandang basketball court right it's better to go uh, trading there, right? Kung gusto niyo naman sa PSE talaga, I strongly recommend long-term or position trading for PSE. It's not healthy to trade PSE right now. Mas maraming mga gain losses niyo kaysa sa mga wins niyo, um, because the market is not that um, that not looking good. Pag bullish yung market, yan we can play in the PSE, but right now it's not. Okay. Um, join us in the international market. If you join the international market and create an eToro account. If you use my link, andyan po sa video description. If you use my link, meron pong bonus, pa bonus po si Itoro for select um for select in uh what they call this um partners nila like me. Um those who create an account using my link, meron po kayong $50 bonus. Plus, yan, if you ju if you fund your account within January 16 to February 5, right? Very important, sayang po yung bonus na yan. So please use the link so that you can get the bonus. And then, um, what do you call this? Um, if you create an account using my link, I have a webinar with Miss Arby Necesito, which which the good traders in um, commodities, day traders, gusto nyo matuto ng day trading. Pero po akong webinar dyan, it's for free for you if you just create an account using my link. Yun po, di ba? So dalawa na pong bonus ninyo. And I'm gonna be giving giveaways uh so announcement ito. So sa mga magka-create ng mag-join ng ano, sa mga magjo-join ng promotion ni Itoro. E right? So luckily meron tayong Itoro e Power Banks which I'm going to be mailing to you guys. If ever um, I'm going to give it to two lucky winners sa mga mag-a-avail ng promotion ni Itoro for this month, right? So, I, I have to to give you power banks under Itoro, very nice power banks. And if ever mag-create kayo ng account ng Itoro, and then you can join the uh, promotion, I'm gonna be asking for a list of the usernames um, na makakuha ng promotion, and then I'm gonna be emailing out I mean, emailing. Di ko ma-email yung power banks. I'm gonna be mailing the power banks to you. So, magdodraw po tayo ng dalawang lucky winners who joined the, ano, who joined the, um, who joined the promotion. 
So, fund up already. If, wala pa kayo, if meron na kayong account, may fund na, you can create a different account for your partners. And then, fund it. And then, get the promotion. Get the 2,500 plus. Get a chance to win um, it, uh, a power bank from eToro. So, napakaganda ng power bank. I use it myself. Um, so, let's go to the comments again. Sir Raid, ano po reasoning ng long position, long position trader? Why do they hold longer sa stock rather than taking profits sa high then buy na lang ulit sa ulit later after ng pullback? It's just because they have a conviction that the stock is gonna hit this price. Especially with na-research nyo talaga, tingnan nyo mga articles ng mga, ano, ng, mga, ng mga analysts. Their target price is this because uh, with the earnings of this company and its performance, they can hit, reach reach this kind of earnings. If this is their earnings, then this should be their target price ng stocks nila. So, they have this analysis. So, if mag take profit sila now, uh, it's gonna be very hard for them to look for another position. So, kung, mag, kung mag-pull back man, swerte, kung hindi sila mag, hindi mag-pull back, sayang yung position nila. Malakihan kasi yung positions nila. Masasayang lang kung if it's still gonna reach that level. So, hindi nila ibabenta yan. Right? So, yeah. Iba-iba tayo ng view. For us, take profits, take profits, then we can take profits. For those na naglolong position talaga, as long as they have, ang kaibahan kasi ng mga analysts na ito is they're paid to do analysis eh. Right? Um, or the the big uh, the big traders, investors, like for example, uh, Mr. Warren Buffett, uh, they have the staff to do the research for them. They have this luxury of someone doing the research. So, they have the conviction to go long. Right? Tayo naman po, na mga maliliit na traders, wala naman tayong staff na mag, magsa-study ng companies. So, we don't really have that conviction to go longer for these kinds of companies. Right? So, po. Robert Neserio, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa, pa-announce po ulit ng promo natin sa eToro. Thanks. Um, yes, uh, eToro natin na uh, um, promotion. Create an account using my link. That's number one. Uh, and po sa video description yung link. So, please make sure you create the account using my link. Now, once you have created the link, you have until February to 5 to fund it. So, if you fund it before February 5, from January 16 to February 5, you can join the promotion. Okay. So, meron po kayong $50 promotion. Maliit lang pakinggan, pero usually kasi, um, there are so many registrations, especially under me, kaya mahal tayo ni Itoro. So, salamat po sa inyo. Let's say, for example, there is, uh, there's gonna be, let's say 200 people, 200 of you who's gonna be joining Itoro and funding. So, that's $50 given by Itoro to 200 people. That's a very big amount. Fifty dollars times one hundred is five thousand. That's ten thousand dollars. That's half a million to be given by Itoro to you guys, right? Laki po niyan. Um. So yeah, sayang naman po, right? At hopefully this pushes you to start investing in the international market. Hopefully this pushes you to start investing even. Yung iba kasi nanonood lang hindi pa nag-invest talaga. So hopefully this is good enough for you. Plus you can join the day trading webinar for free. So sobrang ganda na po niyan and get the chance to win. The power banks from eToro. Dadagdagan ko pa to in the next coming days. I'm gonna be discussing with eToro for this. Pinadala nila ako ng mga ganito eh. Actually, medyo marami-rami pa ito. So, hopefully, you um you join the promotion. Okay? Um, good morning, sir. From Becca Tangan. Good morning, Becca. Any insights po kay ISM? ISM is doing a pullback right now. Um, if it goes further down, just buy it. For long term si ISM. Pwede nang i-accumulate niyan ngayon habang mura pa. LHC. LHC, let's check out LHC. Time check, it's 9.17. So, tingnan pa natin charts. Si LHC um, is doing a major pullback, right? Um, wala pang vo- walang ganong volume si LHC. So, I think this is still gonna go bottoming out or again. So, abangan ulit natin si LHC. One of my favorite stocks, I kept kept recommending this. Si Popey pa ito noon, right? I recommended Popey here. Sabi ko sa inyo, long term nyo to. So, if it starts to bottom out, just buy and then buy more. Then, there it is. Very big win. So, ngayon, wala na sa position. We, I strongly recommended Popey here, si LHC, because I was a position trader. We have a possible bottom right here, di ba? So, I'm just gonna be discussing about position trading again. So, I strongly recommended LHC here when this was happening. Okay? So this when this happened when we had a confirmed support for LHC sabi ko sa inyo test buy niyo na po si LHC right number 1 we have a sideways support but divergence is there 
already. Okay? May divergence na tayo. So, possibly, nagbo-bottom out na si uh, si Popey, si Alex. He actually recommended it here. Bumaba pa siya ng konti. But that's still further a support for LHC and that it, it confirmed the divergence. So, I did say buy already here. Okay? And then, we were able to win this one. So, that was a very good position trade for us. LHC is malapit na naman itong mahinog. Right? So, we'll wait for LHC to bottom out again. And then, once we see signals na mukhang magbo-bottom na siya, then we start buying already. Expect for me to recommend LHC if I see possible reversals for our LHC in the future. Okay? IMI. Si IMI naman, nasa baba si IMI. Kaso ka lang hindi makagalaw si IMI. Sorry. IMI. Hirap si IMI gumalaw ngayon eh. So, but still, we have a very solid support for IMI. If you wanna enter IMI, this is the best entry point right here. Abangan nyo lang sa support. No need to... Hindi kailangan habulin yan 7.85. Pwede pa yun bumaba dito sa support alert na 7.6. But you can buy some here and then buy more here at the bottom. And then hopefully it will uh, it will go up in the future. Sobrang ganda kasi ng bottom na ito ni IMI. Eh. So yeah, try to start accumulating for IMI here. Um, overall, I mean, IMI is a good company. Um, yun nga lang, dollar is going down. So... Medyo affected si IMI. They are earning in dollars kasi. So, ang laki nun. For example, you have a million a million dollars na earning. Laki sa ng mga earnings na ito. Let's say, ano lang. Uh, let's say a million dollars in earnings. Pag bumaba ang dollar ng isang ng 1 peso, meaning you lose 1 million pesos already. So, very highly affected si ano, si uh, IMI sa dollars kasi. May katanga in any in, in insights for um, COO ni dito right ito yung ano eh um mag COO ni dito is the ano eh the uh, what they call this um assistant um uh, executive noon sa ano sa sa ano sa ABS-CBN pero i don't know if the COO ang alam ko lang is he's going to be heading the entertainment department of dito right kasi marami yan eh holdings kasi si dito di ba so meron for the third telco meron for their entertainment so that's very good that's a very good plus for the entertainment sector of dito so more reason for you to look check out uh, ism okay dax aseo abagay morning sir lloyd magkano minimum investments kay warren buffett sa itoro if you want to invest with warren buffett um five thousand dollars po medyo premium po ito right um kasi why because um, Warren Buffett earns in this, right? Si Warren Buffett, sumali sa Itoro, e sinare niya po ang skills niya, ang portfolio niya. Uh, kasi, uh, he allowed himself, to uh, his name for to be used, his company to be used, because he gets something in return. Because Itoro e is the biggest uh, broker in the world right now, and Mr. Warren Buffett wants to take a piece of that pie. And, yan. So, in exchange, para um, makabigay sila ng magandang amount kay, ito, kay Warren Buffett, medyo malaki yung investments dito. $5,000. Pero, para sa iyo, ano, um, para kay Dax, Aseho, kayang-kaya mo to. Right? $5,000 lang yan para sa iyo. Right? $5,000 po minimum for Warren Buffett. Even big tech. Right? This is a, uh, this is a fund. Um, I'm gonna be talking about funds next week because I want, I wanna, I want to feature this feature. Sa sayang kasi eh. Ito, ang ganda nito. Right, Big Tech. If you just know Big Tech, ito yung mga pinakamalalaking companies for ano, for for tech companies sa uh, Itoro, which is Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, FB. Meron pang others dyan. But look at the Big Tech growth. Tech is the future. We're still we're still living in the future and then napakalaki pa ng future possibilities. Last year, this fund earned 44%, bigger than Warren Buffett. And this year, it already started with 4%. So, ang ganda na ng growth na yan. It's a fund. Uh, with mix na o yan sa mga malalaking companies. If you want to invest in this, 5,000 din for, for this. And this is a managed fund din naman. So, this is good for you. And, and if gusto nyo po ng big banks, I mean, meron din fund dito for big banks. The big banks earned how much last year? 27% for last year. So, that's still hefty. I strongly recommend the big tech. Ganda ng, ganda ng fund na ito, guys. Tell you. I am fond of the tech uh, stocks. Kung napapansin nyo po, yung mga tech stocks, lagi ko iniinvestan. So, this should be a good fund for me. Kasi nga lang, pag nagpapakapitrade kami, hindi kami pwede sa funds. Iming, quiet. 
nabuksan kong same pinto kaya pumapasok sila. Right, anyways, yan. Uh, this is for the funds. Tech po from Blaze Fernandez. Tech is doing well right now. But for position traders and swing traders, we don't have any position here. Let's wait for it to do another pullback. Ito yung pullback niyo. Diba? Nag-pullback and then nag-bounce. So let's wait for that to happen again. Pullback and another bounce for tech before we wanna get in. Okay? So that's for tech. Dropbox and Baidu, Sir Lloyd. Um, insights po. This is for Dropbox. Right. Dropbox. BBX. Yeah. So Dropbox. Ascending na yung ano niya. Ascending na yung supports niya. So this is good for Dropbox. Hopefully that doesn't break the support. Pero... Yan po ang pattern niya. Do not look at just the support. We have a resistance right here on this level. This is my favorite. Uh, paborito ko po ito na trading pattern. Right? This is called an ascending triangle. Uh, it's a mix of bullish signals and then there's a bearish resistance right here. So at a certain point, they will meet. Right? Dalawa po yan, the bullish and the bearish people will meet. So, maglalabanan pa yan. So, sino man nanalo, pag nanalo yung mga bullish guys, magbe-breakout ito and then that's where we get in once it does a breakout. Um, if ever matalo, then this could fail for Dropbox. So, huwag nyo munang papasukin. Antay nyo muna may manalo. That's your confirmation before you wanna get in. So, that's from Dropbox. Si Bidu naman. Bidu, yung, yung pusa ko. Si Baidu. Right? So... Alright, very good. Nagpo-pullback si Bido. Um, Nag-open siya mataas kahapon, kaso nga lang hindi nag-sustain. So, we'll wait for it at MA20. Look at the MA20 bounces. So, that's where we will start waiting for Bido. Maganda naman yung galaw ng ano niya, RSI niya. Paakyat naman. Or is it paakyat? Let me see. Sideways yung RSI niya. Though pr prices are going up. So, medyo nahihirapan na si Bido. Ah. Mukhang mag-ano mag, pa ito. Mukhang mag- consolidate pa ito. Let's wait for it at MA20 before you wanna get in Baidu. Dax, uh, da, abagay, ha, <laughs> ibenta ko muna na memorial lots tapos ilipat ko dyan. Thanks ulit, Sir Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, ibenta mo na memorial lots mo. Right, um, hanap ko ulit ng mga mura. Right, for sure, ano na yan. For sure, um, hinug na yung mga yan. Edward Vince C. L Lumentum Holdings, L-I-T-E. A candidate for shorting, Sir Lloyd. Thanks again. Let's check it out. Ba, ba, oh, nasa taas na to. Alright. Ayan. This is a good candidate for shorting already. Taas na nito eh. Right. Nag-break na siya na MA20, meaning yung uptrend niya na sira na. So, it's starting to bounce already. Right. So, what you will wait for is a lower high. Right. Pag nag-red ito, that's a confirmation for shorting. Shorting na po yan. Good find, Edward Wins. Getting better. Yet, may shorting na tayo. Nagsisimula na sa mga shorting. That's good to know that you're starting to embrace shorting. This is a possibility kasi sa international market. Pag mataas na masyado ang stocks, hindi mo pa antayin talaga na bumaba. Pwede niyong i-short. So, right now, yung international market, I'm actually looking for shorting positions. Wala pang shorting signal. So, I really can't open a position right now sa international market. Joseph Tenel, baka pwede niyo po i-topic yung VUL sa insurance, Sir Lloyd. How does it compare to investing kay Warren Buffett? Alright, so, yeah. Sige. Uh, Pag-usapan natin yan next week, Monday. Um, it's a date. VUL compared to funds uh, like Warren Buffett. Alright, so, pag-usapan po natin yan. Um, hopefully, guys, kayo lahat meron ng VUL, right? Before you go to the stock market, please get a VUL. We'll discuss more about that. I'll, I'll explain to you further back at that, that should be the case, okay? Monday, that's going to be our topic. Very be beautiful topic for Monday. So, we've gone through all of the comments already. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo today. And I'll see you again Monday. It's a Friday for PSEI. Yung PSEI nasa support. So, maganda na ngayon maghanap ng mga positions for... Uh, na pwede natin accumulate. And I gave you three positions right now na medyo mukhang nagbo-bottom na. So, I would start, recom uh, I will really start on, um, I would prefer to start uh, accumulating on those stocks right now. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Taka lang, may last na question dito. Ano po balita sa shorting sa PSA? Wala pa. Ayoko na umasa dyan. Ang tagal na yan. Uh, ilang, ilang taon na yan? More than five years? Three? Four? Yeah, tagal na niyan. Tagal na ng balita na yan. Kung darating man, then that's good. Pero pag dumating man yung shorting na yan, 
uh, stay away from the market. It's gonna make the market volatile and unpredictable. Let's wait for the market to stabilize muna if that happens. So if it happens, then I'm gonna be selling all my positions for the meantime, except my long-term positions. So yun lang muna for 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 shorting. Wala pa, ang hirap pa. <laughs> Paasa pa lang yan. Right? Again, that's it for today. I'll see you again next week. As always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone. Enjoy your day po. Enjoy your weekend.